today we're going to do a seat cover install. If any of you guys have owned an older Yamaha, especially like a uh, 05 to 09, um, the seats are pretty much the same. And there is like, there's like zero grip to these seats. They are so slick, it's not even funny. There's a little bit of texture there you can see, but then the actual seat itself where you sit, there's like nothing. And that's, I mean, that's pretty standard for most stock bikes. They're just not that way. I just got this one in from Rocky Mountain and I'm super excited to try it out. This is their in-house um, seat cover that they make. And I'll tell you what, it is really nice. I've already opened it up and looked at it once, but I went with the black and white. I, I don't know what other colors they make really, but for my bike, they had a, uh, black with the uh, white stripes in it. So um, that'll be the, the front of the seat cover right there. It has that Rocky Mountain logo. The back has a, has a logo. And then the middle has that white. I think it's sick. It'll look really good once it's on there. And it is, I mean, it's ridiculous grippy. So I'm excited to put this thing on. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I go about doing a, a uh, seat cover install it's pretty simple really just take out a bunch of staples put in a bunch of staples but uh anyway so what we're going to do first is uh, remove the rear seat which is just that 10 millimeter bolt that 10 millimeter bolt pop it off and then uh yeah we'll go from there i'll show you guys um what it takes to do it pretty much if you have a uh, staple gun it doesn't have to be a pneumatic if you have a handheld uh, staple gun and then also a um uh needle nose pliers in order to pull the old one out you pretty much have everything you need to do the job. It's super simple, super easy. Um, yeah, let's get to it. Okay guys, so you can see all the staples that hold the seat cover on. There's about 100,000 of them. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take a flathead screwdriver and I'm gonna pry them up and that will expose one side to where I can grab it with the needle nose pliers and just yank it out. Um, after I get so far, I should be able to rip the cover off pretty much. Um, seat covers are fairly cheap. This one from Rocky Mountain that I got was only 25 bucks, I think it was, 35 bucks. Like, I don't know, I can't remember, but anyway, they're, they're fairly cheap and for as long as they last, unless you really shred them, uh, they're worth their weight. So anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with this. We'll do a time lapse real quick and we'll get all these staples out and expose the seat. right there um i don't know if that's mold or what that is i think it's kind of nasty to be honest but ugh, i don't know kind of gross hmm. whatever first you're going to want to install it on the front get it stretched over it a little bit and make sure your seat cover is warm. Like if you're doing this in the winter time, you know, do it in the house or something like that because you're gonna want this thing to be pretty pliable and, and stretchy. Okay, so I've got it over the front and the front has this little lip over it right here as you can see. The back doesn't have anything. It's, it's made so that you can pull it tight, stretch it over and staple it on. I'm gonna hit it with two staples. One, two, okay. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this tight, stretch it over, not not too terrible tight, but just tight enough. Get it even with the, with the stitching and on the sides. I'm gonna go back up here to the front. kind of 
laying this out to see how it's gonna fit on this seat. Okay, so I've kind of dry fitted it and kind of figured out where it's gonna sit. Um, what I'm finding out, it's a little bit of a universal seat cover, which I mean, I kind of expected, but um, I'm gonna have to um, do a little bit of tightening, a little bit of kind of trial and error here with this, I feel like make it fit exactly how I want it to, but we'll make it work either way. It's got this seam right here on the side, and I, I kind of want to fold it over, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I'm going to fold it over. Anyway, we're going to tackle it. So, Okay, so basically what you want to do, you want to start from the front here, and we're just going to take baby steps. Okay guys, there's the seat cover. <laughs> it looks pretty sick, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, yeah, it, the fitment wasn't great. I'm, I'm not really impressed with the fitment, but I mean overall, it's a nice seat cover. It's gonna serve its purpose. Um, would I go with it again? Probably not. I mean, I'm not gonna do a, a review, if you wanna call it that, on the seat cover yet, cause I haven't even rode with it or nothing, but um, aesthetically, I think it looks amazing. Um, you know, I like the blue on the other seat cover, but you know, it's a pretty good trade off for what this looks like now. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So, you know, I'm, uh, just getting back into riding, putting my dollars where they count and, uh, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. So any, anyways, tell me what you guys think. If you have any questions about the install, um, sorry, a little bit, bit of it got cut off, but I was able to do what I was able to do. So at least I'll stick to this thing. I mean, those ribs, oh, I can't wait. It's gonna be so much nicer than that old seat cover. Please subscribe, you're gonna see more install videos and uh, hope to be kicking out some ride videos here pretty quick. I've uh, gone on four rides, five rides with it. And uh, yeah, I'm loving this 450. I don't know why I ever, you know, shied away from a 450, um, at least for motocross. It's been, it's been awesome. I just gel with this bike so well. I love it. I uh, feel totally confident on it. It handles amazing. Um, you know, I rebuilt the rear shock and the front forks. It just, it just handles like a dream. At least now I can sit on the dang thing and hang on. It'll be, it'll be a lot better. But anyways, uh, till next time, catch you guys in the next video. Can you tell everybody bye-bye? Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs>